Rosalie, you're helping me or you're not helping me? We've already helped you, Ma. Tell us what you want us to do and we'll do it. My lady's auxiliary committee will be here momentarily. And the chair lady is coming to check on the arrangements for the food and for the transportation, etc., etc., etc. And the final menu wasn't made up yet and I volunteered myself on the food. And if we're going to have potato salad, we're going to have coleslaw, and we're going to have mixed greens, etc., 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 I won't be finished. Ma, if these things make you nervous, why don't you let somebody else do it? Who, for instance? Well, there must be somebody else that could handle some of the details. Evidently not if it was unanimously decided that I should volunteer. Nobody is indispensable, Ma. Oh. Meaning what? Meaning that if you didn't volunteer, somebody else would have to take over. Oh, very nice conversation. Meaning if I wasn't here, I'd be there already, huh? huh? Oh, come huh? on, Ma. Very nice, just in cold words. Well, you have to be realistic, Ma. Oh, a realistic generation. Mama darling. Mama darling. Ma, don't you think it's time you grew up a little? Ma, you're too sensitive. Oh, now I'm something else. I'm sensitive. All right, Ma. Come on, Rosie. What do you want us to do? And Rosalie, bring me out all the heads that I have in the icebox. Yes. You're going to make coleslaw now, Ma? Oh, why not? Enter! Oh, hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. hello, hello children. Dave. Molly. You told me to make tongue sandwiches, and you told everybody else to make tongue sandwiches. That's right. So I changed my tongue to roast beef. Fine. I'm terribly confused about this transportation. What? Listen, let me help you. You narrow the list. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Well, Elaine and Stanley are not coming because Elaine is expecting. Oh, well, is Myra coming? Well, she was invited. She didn't say no. Why do you ask? Nothing. Nothing. I'll get it. I got it. Now, uh, of your family, who will go in your car? Well, just Henry and I. Oh, I see. Excuse me, Ma, it's Mrs. Clark. She says, being that everybody is bringing tongue sandwiches, could she bring roast beef? Why not? Let her bring the roast beef. Now, your car will be available for how many? Well, we have a six-passenger car, but we never take more than four, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> will you have room for two more? Well, what about your car? Well, our car is laid up. So I thought maybe uh, uh, my husband and myself would go in your car, and Rosie and Sandy are going with the younger set. Oh, if you ask me, I think we should have hired a bus. Well, beyond our treasury department. We look out for getting my supper all together. Got to throw an eye in the soup. Oh, I suppose I'll just have to go through all this all by myself. Oh, I hope you're bringing your bathing suits, everybody, because I am. Well, I'm glad you reminded me. Family, in the closet, you'll find two boxes, a little one and a big one. And the big one is marked summer. Bring summertime down. Yes, please. The bathing suits are included. All right, Ma. Hello? Hello, is this my butcher? <laughs> How did you recognize my voice? Then listen, dear, how many tongues did I order? So much tongue, Ma. Hold just a minute, please. Look, Ma, you have too much tongue and not enough of anything else. Why don't you get some uh, steaks or, or hamburgers to grill? They have outdoor grills at the picnic grounds. Answer the door. Hello? Hello, butcher, dear. Uh, listen, if I would want to cancel the tongues for steaks, do you think it would be within our budget? Well, all right, I'll call you back about the quantity. In the meantime, put me in the refrigerator. Yeah, goodbye. So, Hello, Molly. Julie. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Hello, Rosalie, dear. Uh, spill Daisy and Julie in a cup. Oh. All right, Ma, anything else? Just a little snack. Oh, okay. thank you. Well, girls, if everything goes according to schedule, we'll have a lovely day. I've been running myself ragged, trying to get just the right prizes for the games and the right entertainment. Daisy? I hope you've arranged the transportation. Well, you see, I just, I, um, I... She uh, did, she Oh, did. I did, I did. And the food, that's your responsibility, so we won't dwell on that. Right. Well, here's the schedule. And let's oh. stick to it. Now, girls, there's just one fly in the ointment. What do you mean? Who's the fly? Myra. Who invited her? Well, she's a member. Why shouldn't she come? It's just because Philip, her husband, was prominent in the men's club that we accepted her. Just three years this month since poor Philip passed away. You mean just because her husband fell? Don't be so naughty. Haven't you heard about her? No, heard what? I think you'd better call her. Make up some excuse. Anna won't be there if she comes. I know it. Neither will Lillian and Evelyn come. They're not looking for trouble. Trouble? What's the trouble? What's the calamity? Words with no foundation? No foundation? Did you ever see smoke without fire? I still say just words. 
Hello. Why should I be the one to talk? Well, if you can't talk, then don't speak. I'm only telling you because I think, for the sake of our future functions, you ought to know. No what? Come with me. Uh, come here, dear. What is it? What's all the whispering about Myra? You're a little too young to know, Rosie. Oh, Mrs. Carey. Well? Let her come. After what I told you? What did you tell me? You told me something that somebody told somebody that somebody told somebody else? You mean you didn't believe it? All words talk words. If you'll excuse me and don't get mad. That's all idle gossip. Should we women in our middle ages be doubtful of the love and devotion of our husbands with whom we lived and cherished all these years? Should our foundations be shaken? I say no, a thousand times, no, no, no. Well, Liz, you're too dry. Almost. Maybe you ought to put on a robe. Oh, Mom, not cold. All right. Come on. Uh, Sweet, have fun. Yes. But not too high, you shouldn't fall. No, we won't. Ready, Mom. Oh, hold it. Yes, family. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun, guys? Uh-huh. Good, good, good. Molly. Yeah? When are we going to eat? Well, listen, Julie made up the whole schedule. Let me look. Just a minute and I'll tell you. Well, we have a little time yet. The barbecue is not until 3 o'clock. Oh, I thought you were waiting for Myra. She always comes last to make an entrance. I don't start that again. Don't worry. Oh, Myra doesn't worry me. Not after my 25th wedding anniversary. <laughs> well, oh. seems to be going just oh. beautifully. Yeah, sure. The children have had their swim. Yeah. The older boys and girls are playing softball. What time is it? On the dot. Yeah. You can start the barbecue. Wonderful. <laughs> so, Daisy, darling, you go over to the diamond field and get the steak orders, and I'll go to the card table and get the steak orders. Good. I'm starved. <laughs> oh, uh, mm. by the way, uh, Myra isn't here yet. Uh, I doubt whether she's coming. She won't be very comfortable if I can help it. Oh, don't be a woman. How do you like your steak? Medium. Oh, hello, Mabel. I think you're playing on our side, Henry. <laughs> your deal. Oh, all right, now well, come on. We're going to eat soon, boys. Oh. How do you like your steak, Jake? Rare. Rare. And you, Henry? Uh, 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 medium. Yeah. Oh, more rivals. Hello, Lucy. Hi, uh, Lucy. Hello. Mom, uh, everybody's getting hungry. All right, darling. We're going to eat right over here. You take the steak orders from from the people here, and also from the younger set. Yeah. Okay. Go, darling. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Hello, Lucy. had a date for weeks. Maybe she should take lessons from Myra. Mm, the lessons that Myra can teach are not for my daughter, if you know what I mean. Here, Ma. Oh, all right, darling. We can put a little charcoal on. Yes, please. Uh, boys, we're starting to broil. Come put away the cards already. The father can't tear themselves away from the cards. It's relaxing. Hey, Pa, <laughs> come on over the grill here and have a picture taken with Mama. Later, Sammy, later. Always pictures. Ma, is Pa going to play cards all day? He's tired and it's relaxing, darling. Oi, the car is stopping. Oh, Ma, it's Myra. Myra? Hi, Myra. What do you know? She really came. She did come after all. Hello, Myra. Hello, Rosalie. Hey, you look wonderful. Why, thank you. Come on down. Why didn't she bother to put anything on? You can be sure my husband won't be out of my sight today. I don't want her sitting near me. Hi, girls. Hello, Hello Myra. Myra. How are you, Daisy? I'm fine, thanks. Well, it's an awfully pretty dress you have on, Julie. Oh, thank you. Oh, Molly, I have to go and see about the potato salad. I saw to the potato salad, Julie. Some people like more salt. Is there anything I can do to help, Daisy? Uh, I don't think so, no. That's a lovely, stunning outfit you have, Myra. 
Not much to it, is there? Excuse us. Come on, Myra. I want to take your picture up there on the rock. Come oh, on. Fine, thanks. Jay, can I see you in it? Mama, darling. Why are they acting like that? I like Myra, don't you? I have no reason not to like her. Yes, Molly? Uh, Rosalie, see this pepper and salt on all the tables. Yes, please. You know that Myra's here? That's what I want to talk to you about. Jake, because of reason. And don't ask me the reason. Suffice it to say that the word is gossip. Well, who is gossiping about whom? The woman in question is Myra. And because she came above protest, I don't want her feelings hurt. And I want you to entertain her. Me? Jake, gossip can be a vicious circle. Oh, all right, I'll do what I can, but don't expect too much. Ma! Ma! Look, Sammy's taking a picture of Myra. Wait a minute, let me get in that picture. Don't worry, Molly, I'll entertain her. Wait for me! Do you see what we see? Did you ever see anything like that? I'll fix it. Yoo-hoo! It's eating time, everybody! Come and get it! Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Medium well for me, Mom. Medium well for you. Medium well. Medium well. Medium well. Medium well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you got any tongue sandwiches? Right, the last minute, Henry, everybody changes their tongues. Uh, oh, well, I'll have... Oh, that's medium, huh? Yeah. That's oh, for you. Thank you. Oh, all right. I think I got room here. Huh? You like your... Oh, yes. your, your uh, well done. That's right. Oh, Gee, thanks. Oh, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Molly? Uh, my steak? No, one for Myra. Oh. <laughs> You're well. Uh. And Myra is, uh, I think that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Aren't you going to eat, Ma? I'll, I'll eat. Mama, darling, can I do something to help you? No, darling, go and draw yourself, please, Rosalind. Here, take another small tender piece, Myra. Oh, well, just the smallest piece, please. Sammy? Yes, Ma? Uh, did you see Papa? Yeah, he's gone for a walk. Well, Vanessa. Oh, no, not again. Oh, Pat, now how do you do it? <sighs> Lucky at cards. Well, I, I think I'll take a little walk. Oh, well, I'll come with you. No, that won't be necessary. Oh, but I'd dear. love to. Well, I, I would like to commune with nature alone, Daisy. <laughs> These are good pictures Sammy took of us. Oh, they mm. certainly are. He's some boy, isn't he? He certainly <laughs> is. You know, it's hard to believe that you're the father of two grown children. Why? Well, you're so young in every way. In every way. Really boyish. You think so? It, it's your interest in things. Your, your zest for living. It's oh, so hard to say. It's just that special something that makes you, you. I'm nothing special, Myra. Oh, but you are. Very special. To me, anyway. So good to have someone to talk to. You see, I don't have very many friends in this town since my husband died. Well, why is that? Oh, well, let's not go into that. Look, if I tell you something, if I tell you a secret, will you promise not to tell anyone? I promise. Well, I'm going to be married. Sammy, it's on the cards. Tell your father it's thundering. It's possible he didn't even hear it. You're going to come in my car, aren't you, Molly? It's going to come down very heavily, Molly. You'd better go back in Daisy's car. And where are you going? I'll drive Myra home. She doesn't like driving at night. 
But it's still daylight. Oh? But it's getting dark. Coming, Myra! Come on, Molly. Oh, please get me the exact time. I'm calling, Ma. I've already told her the time. Papa's a wonderful driver. I don't know why Mom is so upset. Thank you. Well, exactly 11.03. Thank you. Go to bed, Rosalie. Sammy, you have to be up in the very early a.m. Papa probably got caught in the traffic. Good night. Does Myra live very far from here? Not far enough. What did you say, Ma? Good night, Rosalie. Ma, why don't you invite her over sometime? She'll be invited, don't worry. Good night. Why don't you start finding her a husband, Ma, instead of matchmaking for everybody else? At least your efforts will be rewarded. Good night. Good night, Ma. Good night, Ma. Good night. I noticed your light. I know how distressed you must be. Uh, can I fix you something? Uh, a little warm milk, maybe? It's so relaxing, dear. No, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. You must admit we warned you. Well, I'm just concerned about the, the slippery roads. Your disillusions, that's what hurts. Disillusion sounds like a pretty innocent word. But it's a painful word, a cruel one. See, it's just the... The wet, rainy road that's concerning me. Nothing else. And Daisy, it's late and you're tired. Why don't you go to bed? Well, you're sure you're all right? Oh, I'm fine. I'll be calm. Good night. Good night, dear. Good night and thank you. Thank you very much for everything in your interest. Don't get too emotional. Papa, Ma? Mrs. Carey, Rosalie. Ma, why don't you go to sleep? But I'm fine, darling. I'm fine. Good night, darling. Good night. I hope you feel better. But I'm fine. Information? Information. I'm seeking information. Yes, please. I want the telephone number, if you will, of Mrs. Myra Penman. Penman. I, I, I don't know the spelling at the moment. Penman, pen, like you like spell a pen, pen, man. M A N, man. Pen, man. Yes. Uh, 10, 10, uh, 1067, McDougal Lane. MacDougall. Yes, Haverville. Please. Well, maybe you'll find her under Philip. You're home, Jay? The traffic must have been terrific. I tried to get you on the telephone from Ira's house. First there was no answer, and then the line was busy. Who were you talking to? The weather. You want to swallow a hot cup? No, I had coffee at Myra's. A little snick snack? No, thank you. I'm putting on a little weight, don't you think so, Molly? So what? Well, I'll have to take it off. Who needs a bay window? <laughs> what time did you get to Myra's? Oh, we made very good time. We passed you on the road, didn't you see us? No. How long were you by Myra's? Listen, time flies. You start to talk, a word brings a word. 
Who are you talking about? She wants a job in your factory? Why should she want a job? She's well provided for. Molly, did you know that Myra never loved her husband? Hm. When did she make that discovery? She didn't love him before she married him, and she loved him even less after. <laughs> Calamity. Yeah, wasted young life. She's not the only woman that wasted her life. If you have such a capacity for pity, so have a little pity on me also. Yes, Jake. Because behold, here you also see a woman that wasted her whole life. Molly. And don't talk. Don't utter a syllable, Jake. Because there isn't a word that you could say that could ease my and heal my disillusion. Ever. Molly, what are you? Not a word. Not a word. Because any word you will say will make a bad situation worse. What situation? Only when a word becomes an experience do you understand the meaning of that word, yes, Jake. Disillusionment, that's the word. And I am disillusioned, Jake. Molly, are you finished? Jake, that picnic I won't forget. I'm a forgiving person. I wouldn't say I wouldn't forgive you, but forget my humiliation and my embarrassment. That's not Jake. And I'm not a jealous person. A jealous bone isn't in my nature. This is only the awakening of the facts. My eyes are open, never more to be closed, Jake. Evermore. Molly, are you finished? My father knows that his family was also on a wet and slippery road. You're also a father, however enchanted the evening. All right, Jake. I know now that a father is not a mother, and I know whereof I speak. When and if you're finished, may I remind you that you made Myra my responsibility? Didn't you ask me to entertain her? Did I ask you to sit under a tree and make goo goo eyes? Did I ask you to take her waltzing and walking and talking? Did I ask her to take you home with her? I was trying to please you. I thought that's what you wanted me to do. And this is my thank you. Very nice. Good night. Hello? Hello, this is Myra. This is the late hour to call. Did your husband get home yet? Okay. Well, don't disturb him. Just tell him I think you should know the whole story. Hello? Hello, are you there? Who was on the phone? Myra, she said that you should tell me the whole story. Tell it to me, Jake. I'm iron. I'm steel. I won't fall to pieces. Tell it to me quickly with one stroke. Tell me the whole story. All right. The whole story is get ready for a wedding. The girls told me. The girls told me she wanted to get married and she didn't care whose husband she took. You can tell the girls they don't have to worry. She's not taking anybody's husband, not even yours. She's marrying a childhood sweetheart from San Francisco. How was it we didn't hear? The girl didn't mention anything. What would a poor Myra if they did know? She's marrying a man whose wife is only dead 11 and a half months. Now, this behavior I didn't expect from you, Molly. Good night. Jake. Jake, I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry. I'll see to it that all the girls send Myra wedding presents. Good night. Jake, dear, if I... If I didn't love you, would I care? Jay. Jay, look at me. Jay. In my eyes, look at me. Jay, only tell me one thing. Yes? What were you doing from 7 o'clock till now? Molly, you said you love me. Trust me. Do you? Well, do you? Should I? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 